Hi, this is Presh Talker. The train fly problem is one of the classical mathematical puzzles. Can you solve it? Consider two trains that are 100 miles apart from each other. The trains move towards each other at a constant speed of 20 miles per hour. In between the two trains is a fly and the fly zigzags back and forth between the two trains at a speed of 40 miles per hour. So the fly starts at one train, goes to the other train, and keeps on going back and forth. The following animation gives you a rough idea of the path of the fly. The puzzle is what is the total distance that the fly travels. For the purposes of this problem, you want to assume the fly changes speed instantly and it keeps going back and forth between the two trains infinitely many times until the two trains meet. So your problem is to figure out the total distance that the fly travels. There's an amusing story about this puzzle. The American mathematician John von Neumann was asked this puzzle at a cocktail party. The story goes that he instantly gave the answer. The person shocked asked him, oh, so you know the trick to solve this puzzle. And his answer was, what trick? I just solved the infinite series. So give this puzzle a shot. You can either try and solve it by the infinite series or you can try and figure out what the trick is. When you're ready, you can keep watching the video and I'm going to present the solution, both the trick and the infinite series. All right, let's try and figure out the total distance that the fly travels. You really don't need to do any complicated math, even though it seems like a difficult problem. So the first observation is that the two trains move towards each other at 20 miles an hour. We can think about this that the two trains have a combined speed of 40 miles per hour. 20 plus 20 is 40. The next observation is that it will take the trains to cover 100 miles at 40 miles per hour. It will take them two and a half hours to cover this distance. So now we've almost solved the puzzle. We figured out that the two trains will meet in two and a half hours. And here's the final observation. If the fly is moving at 40 miles per hour for two and a half hours, that means it will travel two and a half hours times 40 miles per hour, which is 100 miles. And that's it. The fly travels a distance of 100 miles, even though it travels this very complicated path of going back and forth. So you actually don't need to model the path. You don't need to calculate any of the distances in between. You just need to calculate the total time it takes for the two trains to meet, and then multiply that by the fly's constant speed of 40 miles per hour. So it's a very cool trick, and it can stun people that you can solve the problem so quickly. So now let's solve the problem the hard way using infinite series. The first thing you have to do is calculate the distance the fly travels the first time it meets the train going the other direction. So we'll calculate this that the train and the fly together are moving at a speed of 60 miles per hour because it's 20 miles for the train and 40 miles for the fly. So how long will it take them to meet? What's the distance the fly will cover? Well, to cover that 100 miles traveling at 60 miles per hour, we know that it will take a time of 100 divided by 60. We then multiply that by the 40 miles per hour that the fly travels at to compute the fly travels a distance of 200 divided by 3, or 66 and 2 thirds miles. Another way to think about this is the fly travels twice as fast as the train. So they're going to meet at two thirds of the way on this 100 miles, which is 66 and 2 thirds or 200 over 3. So that's the first distance the fly travels when he meets the first train. Now we need to compute the new distance when the fly is traveling the other way to meet the other train. So the first thing we do is we 
compute that the two trains are now at a distance of 33 and a third miles. We've already calculated that one train moves 33 and a third miles, so that means the other train also moved that distance, and the distance between them is 33 and a third miles. So now we basically have the same problem, except everything is reduced by a third. The distance is one third, and so what will be the distance that the fly covers? Well, we can do the calculation, but it'll actually turn out intuitively that the fly is going to cover one third of the distance it covered before. So this will be 200 divided by nine. And in fact, now we'll have a reduced problem again. The distance between the trains will be reduced by a third, and so we can compute an infinite series where each time we have a factor of one third. When we solve for the total distance, we will get that the fly travels for 100 miles. Of course, this method is a lot more complicated than using the trick, and there's a lot more room for error along the way. So it's still instructive to go over it, but it's important to know the trick, and you should keep an eye out for it. So that's the train fly problem. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math and game theory. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can also catch me at Presh Talwalkar on a bunch of social media places. And please check out my books. I've written several books about math and very cool topics like the one in this video. You can check out a link for all my books. There is a link in the video description.